How to create and implement construction site waste management plans SWMPs, in nine easy steps. Step 1 Identify who is responsible for producing the SWMP, and ensuring that it is followed. Every SWMP, should include details of the person who drafted it, the person in charge of the project, and, if one has been appointed, the contractor's identity. If there is more than one contractor, details of the principal contractor should be included. Keep the SWMP either in the site office or, if there is no site office, on site. The reason for this is that it can be referred to by the site staff, implemented and updated, when site circumstances change. Step 2 Identify the different types and quantities of waste that will be produced by the project, at all stages. Step 3 Identify the waste management options, and note any changes in the design and materials specification, that seek to minimize this waste. Step 4 Consider how to reuse, recycle or recover the different wastes produced by the project. Step 5 Identify, waste management sites and contractors, for all wastes that require the companies to demonstrate that they are complying with the duty of care regime and recording the quantities of waste transported from site for disposal. Step 6 Implement and carry out any necessary training of internal and external staff, to ensure that everyone understands the requirements of the SWMP. Step 7 Plan for efficient materials use, and minimum waste handling, and do this early enough, bearing in mind any constraints imposed by the site and its location. The solid waste management plan must also describe the construction techniques used on the site and its location. It should also describe, uh, the construction works proposed, including the location of the site and estimated value, and b, record decisions made before the SWMP was drafted, on the nature of the project, its design, construction method and the materials employed. Step 8. Measure the quantity and type of waste produced, comparing these against the SWMP to ensure that the wastes are properly managed and lessons are learned for the next time an SWMP is produced. And, all this should be recorded on the datasheet. Every time waste is removed from the site the SWMP must be updated with further information, including, type of waste removed, and destination site. Also, record the identity of the waste management contractor removing the waste. The principal contractor should, soon after completion, record on the SWMP a statement confirming that the plan has been monitored on a regular basis to ensure that work has progressed in accordance with the plan. Step 9. Monitor the implementation of the SWMP to ensure that it is being followed, and be prepared to update plans if circumstances change. And, as part of the process, don't forget to review success of the SWMP at the end of the project, identifying learning points for future reference. These steps are not a legal requirement, but it makes sense to do them all. The results of using SWMPs for many contractors in the past, have been profitable. Why not make this be profitable, for you?